Amazon, Microsoft, Meta, TCS and the list goes on. In just 7 months of 2025, more than 1 lakh people have been laid off in major tech companies. And you might have heard murmurs that Salesforce jobs are also dying. It is natural to panic and freak out. But before that, let's look at the data and find out whether Salesforce jobs are really declining or not. Hello everyone, I'm Shreya Sharma, your Salesforce help. And today we are going to fact check recent rumors. Let's look at the job market trends first. So there was a huge pandemic boom during COVID. As a cloud-based company, Salesforce was able to capitalize on the surge of remote work and digital transformation. Companies were hiring remote talent and according to surveys done by 10K reports, there was a huge massive spike in Salesforce jobs in 2021. Every time Salesforce said they would create jobs and projected a growth in revenue, they did actually create that many jobs. In fact, by Q4 in 2022, Salesforce had announced a record quarter, although it lasted only for a minute. Soon the recession phase took over in 2023. There was a 28% growth in the supply of Salesforce professionals, but a 46% drop in demand. So your worries are quite justified. Even after many new launches since then and expansion in AI, the industry is still recovering. But if you look at the big picture, especially in India, it's more of a reset than a collapse. In fact, IDC, a leading tech research firm, estimates the global Salesforce economy will create 11.6 million new jobs by 2028. And in India alone, Salesforce forecasts 1.8 million new jobs by 2028. That doesn't sound like a dying field. If you look at the US or other established markets, Salesforce hiring has cooled down there. But in India, demand has bounced back to 13% year over year this year in all key Salesforce job profiles like consultants and developers. India's Salesforce revenue has crossed 1 billion in 2024. And CEO Mark Benioff even talks about the Indian era for Salesforce along with Arundhati. So for freshers and mid-level professionals in India, opportunities are expanding. That being said, let's look at what job profiles are actually in demand right now. The core roles such as developers and consultants are always required. The entry point has shifted to AI and agent force. In fact, Salesforce is adding more AI and automation focused roles. Yes, they laid off around a thousand people, but they also hired people to sell and support their AI products. And besides AI, you can consider the role of business analysts. Companies are now looking for a specialized talent, which means you need to have a strong command on any domain like sales, marketing or commerce cloud. New data plus AI roles are also on the rise because data engineers and architects are always required to run successful projects. So the opportunities do exist. You just have to find the one that aligns with your goals. And if you need any more guidance on which career path is suitable for you, then you can always reach out to our career counselors at S2 Labs. I'll drop their contact details in the description. In conclusion, I just want to say that Salesforce is not dead. Salesforce careers are not disappearing. They are evolving. So all what you need to do is evolve with it. If you are able to evolve and keep up with the changing industry trends or dynamics, then you will not have to worry about job security. That is all from my end. Let me know your thoughts about this debatable topic in the comments below. And while you're there, take a look at the description as well and sign up to our newsletter so we can send you weekly Salesforce updates and latest videos. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like it and share it with someone who might need it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.